Hello friend, in today's video we are going to see what you mean by precision rectifier and how op-amp can be used to provide the rectified output. So let's begin with the topic. Rectifier is basically a circuit which is used to convert AC into DC signal. In case of power supply, when we require a DC regulated voltage at the output, then the 230 volt AC input signal is acts as an input to the rectifier. The rectifiers are basically developed by using a diode. The rectifier is used to convert AC signal into a DC signal. The rectifier can be a full wave rectifier or half wave rectifier. In case of half wave rectifier, the rectifier produces only half cycle at the output. Whereas in case of full wave rectifier, the complete AC input signal is get rectified at the output and will get positive half cycles in each positive as well as negative half cycle of the input signal. Now let's understand what do you mean by a precision rectifier. The problem with a basic rectifier that is by using a diode rectifier is that as we are using a diode rectifier, the diode having cutoff voltage or knee voltage as 0.6 if it is a silicon diode or 0.3 if it is a germanium diode. So the voltage if it is below 0.6 or 0.3 then it is not possible for the diode rectifier to rectify it and provide the DC output. In that case the precision rectifiers are used. Let's understand this by using the transfer characteristics of the diode. So if we look at the forward characteristics of the silicon diode, so 0.6 is a cutoff voltage or knee voltage of the diode. So if the voltage is below 0.6 then it is not possible for the diode rectifier to rectify it. So such low voltage is get rectified by using a precision rectifier. Op-amp can be used to form ideal rectifier for converting AC signal into DC signal. Idea is to use a negative feedback to make up op-amp behaves like a rectifier with non-zero barrier potential and with a linear I.O. characteristics. Transconducting curves of a typical silicon diode and ideal diode is given by using x-axis consists of forward voltage and y-axis consists of forward current. So with the help of these characteristics we will come to know that the diode conduct only after 0.6 volt. Now the problem with basic rectifier is even if the voltage is above 0.6 volt we can see the distortion present in the output waveform. So to remove such type of distortion the precision rectifiers are used. Similar to diode rectifier precision rectifier also having two types half wave precision rectifier and full wave precision rectifier. Half wave rectifier provides output signal as only positive half cycle at the output for Half positive half cycle of the input signal. The negative cycle is get eliminated and no signal will be present at the output signal whereas full wave rectifier provides output which is the complete AC input signal is get rectified and will get positive half cycles at the output. So this is what about the full wave and half wave precision rectifier. The function of rectifier is remain same that is to convert AC signal into DC signal. Only different thing is that it is get implemented by using op amp instead of using diode so that it can also provide a DC signal it can also provides output which is below 0.6 volt so I hope you understand the topic of precision rectifier so thank you very much for watching this video stay tuned to Ikira subscribe Ikira thank you